Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa, this time of the Mission Thrift Store in Brantford. Here, let's go inside. Uh, just inside, you, this is what we see. I saw this older manual. The condition wasn't that great, and it wasn't as old as I thought it was. Um, I think it had to do with highway building. Would have been interesting otherwise, but... Um, yeah, that's the way things go sometimes. And here we are, we're checking out this cup and saucer. I thought, I was thinking maybe they might be made in occupied Japan, but that's what I'm always looking for. I don't really look for anything else. Not expensive, but then they're also not silver or even silver plate. I think they're just chrome plated. Probably more contemporary than you might think. That's the entrance just over there. I'm surprised that the triple candle glass candle holder wasn't uh, examined by Westwood Avenue on our way in. And here we see some of the sets of dishes. I think they're sets, at least considerable portion of a set if they aren't a full one. Other kitchen uh, appliances, pots, things of that nature. These are the smaller of the small appliances. And we're just scooping through a whole bunch of other things that were similar. Cups and saucers and sets and not in sets. Uh, sometimes they were only sold as singles, so that's why. Then we get this interesting display with watches and brooches and things of that nature. It's locked up, so you have to get a staff member, which is quite fine. But it's easier to look at them um, before you even ask them about them. Uh, this cho store changed from its its layout from before COVID to now, and um, there's a dramatic change. Uh, I just have to say it's a very dramatic change on going in. And previously, it was a bit uh, not as obvious as to which side of the cash desk you were supposed to go through. Ah, yes, this is an interesting child's chair and it needs to be all, all the joints need to be reclued and clamped and then refinished. It's a project for someone for 20 bucks at this store. But they do like their ceramics and teacups and, uh, yes, they do have some, um, stationary goods for folks. They have some exercise equipment for some folks, TV stands. Uh, bits and pieces of notions, gift bags, women's clothes, furniture of all sorts, and the typical collection of women's purses. I didn't say anything useful in the purses. But yeah, this is you're just getting a quick glimpse of some of the stuff and some stuff we're focusing a little more on. These are glassware and vases. And I'm sure Westwood Avenue's already scoured through them. Uh, sporting goods. Very specifically binned. And then we get the rest of the small appliances and pots and pans and so on and so forth. We have a selection of books. Uh, 
pretty good collection of furniture if you're looking for furniture for yourself. It's it's uh, all right condition generally, and some more of this is uh, stemware in this case ceramics. I think they've tried to group them one way, then they changed their mind and they didn't. Uh, with some jewelry, some electronics, CDs, toys, and the washrooms are up there when it's not COVID. Uh, ta -da. And some books. We're looking now for the Hawaiian shirts, uh, short sleeve shirts for men. And it took a bit. It wasn't where I expected it, but here we go. We've got a couple of contenders here. And then we see four bucks. Now that's a that's not a bad deal. I'm not sure if I got that one or or if I got this other one that's coming up here. That's more of a business style for Hawaiian shirts. I know it's loud for here, but over there it's pretty demure. Some other cruise wear and then lo and behold when we see the front showcase window it's all Hawaiian style stuff shorts kimonos dresses purses here you, these are just uh, focused in on a, on a bit of some of the areas Holy smoke, it was it was just a riot of color to have this in the window. Um, in the sunshine. I think they were trying to look at it as cruise wear, which is fine. Uh, this is a pretty well a, a Dutch run organization, a Dutch immigrant run organization. But then we find a, up here is the last of the shorts, but then there are a couple of hat boxes. Now, I considered them, but we don't really do hat boxes. This one's based on a place that it doesn't exist anymore. And they had some vintage hats, possibly came in there. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. But I do hope you subscribe. Consider also choosing the bell so you find out when our next video is posted. And we'll watch for you in the next video. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>